Hi, in this video, we will talk about test sigma, how the UI will be, okay? What are the options available in test sigma, how the UI looks like, okay? What are the options available if you log into this test sigma that we will see in this video. In our previous video, we have discussed that what is no code automation, then this is test sigma is one of the uh, tools available to write no code automation, okay? So you have, once you come to the testsigma.com, you just click on this login button on top, okay, after this menu, click on login. So sign into your account. If you do not have, you can use your Google account to sign up and GitHub also, okay? Otherwise, uh, if you already logged in, you can directly log in. So I already created my account. So I will create mine now. So, sorry, I'll log into this. Test Sigma. So just click on sign in. So I made any mistake. Let me try again. Yeah there might be a typo. So this is the, once you log in, you can see this kind of UI. So PDF actions, broken link finder, mock geolocation, there are some extensions, okay? So latest runs, okay, total runs, what, how many passed, how many failed, how many not executed, so kind of report it will show you, okay? Apart from that, in the left side, you see a plus symbol. When you hover on this, you see, you can create test case, step group, elements, test data profile, requirements. You can create your own project, something like that. And if you hover any other option, this is called dashboard, test development, project settings, agents, settings, add-ons. So we are just seeing here, right? These are all add-ons, PDF actions, broken link, something like that. Okay. So if you go to This is dashboard. We are on the dashboard section. And you go to settings. You see that left side you have plugins. These are already developed by some people and we can directly use if that is useful for, for us, okay? So you have user roles. You can create different type of users in this super admin, test manager, test lead, and you can create your own. So you can create your users. You see that I have some users already created. So custom fields, if you do not have any field, uh, like uh, if you have some options, but you do not have whatever you're looking for, so you can create a new field. You see that by clicking on the new field button. So API case, preferences, important exports, plans and building, there are so many options, okay? And if you go to project settings, you see that here, project details, project members who are all there. You see that I created a few people, so I can see requirement types. You see that? What kind of requirements you have in your project? Customer required, functional requirement, non-functional requirements, user interface requirements. If you do not have anything, you can add a type and you can map these thing, things to your test cases. What are the test case types you have? Unit test, integration test, functional, non-functional, user experience, or regression, something like that. You can create your own test case types and you can group your test cases according to these test case types. The test case priorities. While creating test case, you can give the priority to that. Critical, major, medium, minor. If something is not there, you can add your own priority. So for each option, you have your own. Uh, for each option, you have your own option. You can create or you can add your own option. Okay? So, and if you go here, you see that there are some few applications, sample applications already available. So simply travel demo, simply travel demo, mobile app, Android app, iOS app, something like that. Right. If you click on this, you go to test cases. Let me go to, you see when you create new test, it is asking us to install Test Sigma Chrome extension that we will see later. So in the left section, you see create a new test case. I can cancel this. Then I can see 
what are all the test cases already created right so verify successful login when i click on this you see that that we already saw in our previous video how this no code automation looks like with plain english so navigate to this url click on login icon click on this something enter admin in username field enter 12345 in the password field click on login button and verify this same thing once you create all the once you run all these things sorry once you create these steps you just click on run button you see that test sigma lab is available local devices and they have different options to execute different combinations windows mac which version of windows you want to execute in windows this one which browser which browser version which resolution you want to execute in headless mode or head mode headed mode right you have any additional settings you can perform so page load time you can give element timeout so if something is not loading quickly so you need to wait for some time at that i can configure here which environment you want to execute you need to capture screenshots for all the steps only failed steps or passed steps something like that okay and just click run and this is how you can execute right so if you go to here you can create your own requirement okay so if you click on requirements you see i have one requirement first let me create one project okay so project so project name sample web application i'm just giving sample underscore web application otherwise sample hyphen web application you can give any description you want if it is, are you planning to test multiple multiple applications for this click on this you see you can configure web application mobile application api whatever you want okay and just click on create you see that here i am seeing sample web application right and then you can create test cases and you can create requirements so go here just there will be default requirement you can create your own what is that a user can log in using the login page just simply you can give description type what type of functional requirement i can say i am starting today and ending today i am planning for 10 test cases for this it's your wish how many test cases you are planning for that and just create you see that it created I click on this you can see a user can log in so you can create one more right a user can sign up using the sign up page and same options what kind of requirement it is i'm saying functional requirement otherwise user interface requirement this is a starting date i'm planning to complete by this date and i'm planning some eight test cases on this something like that and just create so it got created right so then you can create your test suits okay so test suits so you can create your test suit here so let me give one example so web functional test cases okay what is the prerequisite if you have anything you can so you need to add test cases for this okay i do not have test cases so first i need to create some test cases right let me create some test cases here let me create here simply verify successful otherwise verify login with valid credentials okay so then uh, i can i can click on write test manually but i'm not writing here so just after clicking on that it will give you option to write your test cases that plain english okay so it will give me first time it will give me for some video to how to write those test cases let me go back you see that i can see this so you can create one more verify login with invalid credentials okay write test case manually and come back you can see this right so now i can create test suites create new so web 
under score functional so i need to add test cases whatever the test cases you already written in the test cases tab you see that i can add how many you want that many you can filter also on priority basis created by who created what are the labels requirement type you can filter otherwise you can directly click on this add selected these two got added click on save you see that i created and just added and i'm creating you see that created web functional you can create one more if you want web regression something like that so you can create test plans okay plan is at the top level so if i click here web automation whatever name you want you can give according to your requirement so description is optional if you want to give any labels you can give click on next button you see that test machine and test add test suites first okay i have one test suite web functional i can add that to here and click on add okay so then next and required associate test means where you want to run this test plan that you need to okay click on this add machine or device you see that you can give one name so windows underscore chrome i want to execute on windows chrome so windows windows 11 google chrome and headless or whatever it is and um, uh, test app live is test sigma lab and you have other options like local devices that we will see later the so test sigma lab and create and you need to map that here you see windows chrome this functional web functional uh, test plan i am going to execute in this windows chrome okay click on next and uh, settings send the notifications when there is a failed or passed whatever it is you send that to any one of the mail ids which you already have you can have additional settings page load time for entire plan you can give this page load time element type all these things recovery actions okay on uh, major test failure you want to abort or you want to report and continue next step something like that different options are there okay and then create right so when you go here again so where your project click on project come back and this is my so test machines this is my test machines so i do not have any schedules you can schedule okay so this is how you can create if you want to create test case again you see test suite test plan run results environment all these things okay so this is the ui of test sigma you have n number of options you can explore but i just or discuss what are the main things which we frequently use okay so this is all about test sigma ui okay that's all in this video please like the video share the video and subscribe to my channel thank you